Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you the things I do to touch up my sketches. This can happen while I'm sketching outdoors or it can happen at home when I'm looking at my sketches and I realize that there are certain things I had forgotten to draw or left out accidentally. If there are any mistakes with my sketches, um, I don't correct them, I'll just leave them as they are because sometimes if you correct any mistakes, it may actually make the mistakes look even worse. So let's um, take a look at this sketch that I drew a few days ago on location. By the way, you can check out that urban sketching video using the link that I have for you in the video description below. Here's an example of a mistake. So I painted this lamppost while the sky was still wet and the paint just spread out. Depending on the paint you use, you may be able to fix this mistake. So for example, if you are using non-staining paint, you may be able to lift the colors or scrub out the colors. But then you will have to repaint this area and try to make it look uh, seamless compared to the other areas that are or were already painted. Okay, so I shall just leave this as it is. Because this sketch is quite detailed, there will be certain areas where I will miss out when it comes to painting. So there is a parking sign here, and this parking sign is basically a orange square box with a blue circle in it. So I'm going to paint this with this Posca marker and add the blue later on. I've got to wait for the paint to dry first. Posca markers are opaque markers that you can easily use to add some colors, details onto your sketch. So here I'm using the red paint to add the brick likes behind this vehicle. I use this quite often just to add those red lights and also for traffic lights. On the right side here, I had forgotten to color the black arrow. If you use Posca marker, the look of the marker is going to be quite different compared to watercolor paint. So this look, the difference in the look may sometimes uh, be quite distracting. So this here is now dry. I can just paint over. I will need to shake this. Posca markers are opaque, so be careful not to cover over the lines. You can see the orange, it covered some of the black lines behind. I like to add dots as well on the ground to create some texture. I will have more dots in the foreground than in the background. Notice the yellow on the ground. Those are meant for road markings. Those are actually double yellow lines. So I'm going to add the road marking here. Because the space here is very tight, I will not be able to fit two lines. So I'm just going to draw one line. And I have the yellow continue here on the left side and maybe here. You can certainly use watercolor to add details. You can use cadmium colors, opaque colors to add the red lights, the yellow lines, but it's way more convenient to use Posca markers because you don't have to prepare water. You don't have to clean your watercolor brushes. These Posca markers come in different sizes, so the tip here is the thick one. This orange one has a much finer tip. There is also the chisel tip. Most of my Posca markers, they have the bullet tip. For the signs here, I'm going to have white over the red. Sometimes the ink for the white gel pen, it doesn't come out that easily. And for this yellow sign, I'm going to have red over yellow. If I use white over yellow, the contrast will not be that good. There's another sign here. I can add some words. For the window up here, I'm going to add some lines here. 
and here as well this is the sakura this is the sakura jelly roll they come in different sizes this particular one is one millimeter i believe there is 0.5 and also 0.8 if i want a thicker white line i will use this correction pen this is the pentel correction pen sometimes i would add white in the darker areas to represent lights you have to be more careful when using this because the ink may rush out so this is a bit too thick for what i wanted i should have used a roller ball instead and here at the top i can have some words as well when you have ink over watercolor the lines will somehow become thicker compared to just having ink on paper and also the look will be slightly different compared to having watercolor over ink and here at the top i need to add these dots let's make the windows a bit thicker And I'm going to use yellow here for this signboard. Let's see what happens when I add some dots to the side of this wall. All right, the dots are not visible because it's orange on orange. So let me try red. This pen is the Uniball Signal Gel Stick. These pens come in very limited colors and I like them because the ink is pigmented which means the ink is waterproof when dry so you can use them for drawing and apply watercolor over later on and you can add details over the watercolor after the watercolor is dry so these are quite convenient there are many brands of colored ink pens out there i recommend uh, pens that have waterproof ink and also pens that come with metal tips this is the uniball vision needle this is quite nice as well the ink is also pigmented and the needle point allows you to draw details very easily and since this is a metal tip it's going to last for a long time these inks are usually not opaque so they have some transparency or translucency and they will blend with the colors beneath so it's going to be a bit difficult to see certain colors especially on darker backgrounds here it seems to work fine when it comes to using pens on watercolor make sure the surface is dry first otherwise you can mess up the pen tip and that's going to affect ink flow now there are felt tip colored ink pens as well such as this ones from copic um, i don't really like felt tips because the tip can wear out quite quickly especially on rougher watercolor paper spectrum not Spectrum Noir is another brand that makes colored felt tip ink pens. Personally, I prefer these metal tips and also the Posca markers. These are for drawing fine lines, these are for drawing thicker lines. If for some reason you need metallic colors, these are available too. These are brush pens with opaque metallic colors and these are from Spectrum Noir. In case you see these in art shops, these are Derwent graphic line printers. They are felt tip pens with liquid ink inside. The ink tends to spill out quite a lot from the pen tip, so I don't really recommend them unless you are going for the ink spill effect. It's good to have some negative shapes in your sketch, like have light over dark rather than just having dark or black against white, because having this negative shapes they can really make your sketch look more interesting this area here may work well with some light against dark sometimes i may use colored pencils too just to create more textures so those are the things i do to touch up my sketches and to add more details don't add so much details to the point where the details become distracting. If you don't know what else to add, it's probably time to stop and put the pen down. One last thing is be sure to test all your supplies before you use them on your 
art because you don't want unpleasant surprises. Before you go, let me know in the comment section below what are some things you personally do to touch up your sketches. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye!